here we have been given two circles say with radius r1 and center o1 and radius r2 with center o2 and we are supposed to draw a common tangent to them there are four possible tangents two of the tangents go like this and two others can be drawn passing through the space between these two circles uh, these two green tangents are called internal tangents while these two red ones are called external tangents next i am going to measure the radii of these two circles say the radius of this circle is 55 radius of this circle is 30 and i am going to set in my compass uh, the difference between these two radii so i am going to set the distance 55 minus 30 in my compass which is 25 and i am going to place my compass at the center of the bigger circle about this point so that this goes around and that's our circle of radius r2 minus r1 which happens to be 25 this time uh, by the way a side note in case the radii of these two circles are arbitrary and it's not possible to measure them accurately in that case just take the distance uh, the radius of the smaller circle in your divider and mark it from the circumference inward uh, on the bigger circle wherever that line stops that's your radius r2 minus r1 for this intermediate circle next we are going to join the two centers and find the midpoint of that segment say m uh, if you want to revise how to find midpoints with construction click here then i'm going to move my compass and place it at the midpoint next we are going to draw a semicircle with this line joining the centers as the diameter We are done with the compass so let's fold this and keep it aside now i want to remind you of one important property of semicircles and that is the angle included in them is always 90 degrees so if i'm drawing you know all these angles they're all included in these this semicircle then each one of them is 90 degrees so if i draw a line that goes from here up to this point of intersection and then to this center then naturally this angle will also be 90 degrees but since this is a radius of the intermediate circle this line will be 90 degrees to the radius or tangent to the intermediate circle now imagine for a moment that we already have the tangent in that case these two radii to the point of tangencies would be parallel to each other because they are going to be perpendicular to the same tangent and therefore these two radii along with the tangent and the line joining the centers will form a trapezium with these two as the parallel sides now let us throw in the intermediate tangent that we had drawn earlier to the intermediate circle now this tangent is also perpendicular to this radius and therefore these this tangent and the tangent we are looking for are going to be parallel lines and that gives us a trick of doing this we already have this line all we need to do is to draw this parallel line and at what distance at the distance between the intermediate circle and the bigger circle which is nothing but this radius r1 so let's do that we had come this far we are going to extend this radius and we are going to draw a line parallel to this tangent from this point over here like this and that is the tangent we were looking for now let us just mark the geometric relationships showing that this line is indeed a tangent to these two circles